Well, 23 here on this Tuesday and hot and sunny. Some of the usual words we throw around here in the summer continue today. It's going to be uh, up around 100 degrees in many areas. A lot of sunshine, occasionally some wispy high clouds and very few little puffy clouds around. So watching a tropical disturbance entering the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, it's, it's kind of a strange situation. It's actually a weak area of low pressure that was forming over land and should enter the northern Gulf here later tonight and tomorrow. It could uh, intensify fairly quickly into a tropical depression later tomorrow. Higher rain chances trying to return this weekend. It all depends on the tropical disturbance, what it does, but um, for the most part, still probably staying fairly hot the entire week ahead. Temperatures in the 90s right now. We're up to 97 in Rio Grande City, still 95 in Brownsville, 92 in Port Isabel, and 93 in McAllen. With that good old humidity, though, it feels like it's 108 in Brownsville and 104 in Rio Grande City, even 103 in Edinburgh. So, uh, not hot enough and humid enough for a heat advisory, but it's uh, typical July heat out there. A satellite radar does show fairly clear skies around. Occasionally a few high thin clouds are coming through. We see a couple of these trying to come down from the north, uh, just in areas north of the valley. If you look outside your window, you see a few of them out there already, but not enough to really block out too much of the sun today. Now in the tropics, of course, it's hurricane season and what we have to track over the western Gulf is a lot of sunshine. Over the eastern Gulf, starting to get a little stormy out there with some showers and storms around. And even though this little circled area doesn't have much in it, this is kind of a weak low and a little weak disturbance coming down out of Georgia into North Florida that once it gets over land later tomorrow, uh, does have a better chance to develop. So the Hurricane Center has a probability of development up to 50% over the next two days and 80% over the next five days, which is a fairly good chance. Most of the models do show some intensification as it moves into the northern Gulf waters, which are pretty warm. You look at water temperatures and they're in the mid to upper 80s across pretty much all the Gulf. Shows 89, the sea surface temperature not too far off of Louisiana and off the coast of Florida. So uh, that's plenty warm. Usually anything above about 80 degrees is warm enough for uh, tropical development. Now the GFS model uh, does take this development uh, off to the west. This is between now and Thursday. You see it does forecast at least a weak area of low pressure, maybe intensifying a little bit uh, near the coast of Louisiana by Thursday. And then from there, most of the models do hint that you know, it will kind of drift west, northwest, or maybe turn back into Louisiana or maybe the northeastern coast of Texas there by later in the week. This model, this is the latest run, the GFS does show a little bit of intensification in uh, whatever is left of the disturbance or whatever is uh, trying to form uh, near the coast of Louisiana and the border of uh, Texas by Friday night and Saturday. So uh, something to watch at that distance. If a storm would form, probably no big direct impacts on us. But uh, if it does get a little bit closer, it could start to throw a little moisture our way. But uh, these areas, I think around Louisiana, maybe far eastern Texas, you want to watch if you are traveling this weekend because it could be some very, very heavy rain Friday and Saturday and even Sunday uh, across uh, some of these areas of Louisiana and nearby states. So kind of watch out. If you are traveling again, we have to watch it to see if it does get a little bit closer, but nearly every computer model, at least all the reliable ones, does keep it kind of on that general track, staying pretty far away from us. And for us, at least the next couple of days, it means more sunshine. Sunshine uh, today and temperatures back up into the upper 90s and lower 100s. Even tomorrow, we're looking for a return to uh, mainly sunny skies around again uh, with sunshine. And then as we go into the day on uh, Thursday, uh, still more sunshine. I think Thursday's the day with uh, maybe a small chance of a shower late in the day, but future track is keeping it uh, dry most of the day. Maybe a couple showers could begin to pop up Thursday or a weak thunderstorm, but that's our first chance for rain coming up. And then we'll have to watch if chances of rain climb after that. But Tuesday, Wednesday, dry weather, 20% chance of a shower or maybe a weak thunderstorm later Thursday. And that could get a little higher depending on any tropical moisture and the strength and intensity of that disturbance. If it stayed kind of weak and just some random tropical moisture comes in, we could have and maybe an, actually an increase of rain chances here Friday and Saturday. Uh, 100 today, though, sunshine, 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 and breezy and hot. Uh, that's what we have today. Winds may gust up to about 25 miles per hour, down to 79 late tonight, and your first four and five AccuWeather seven day forecast. Highs near 100 today and tomorrow, 99 on Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We kind of have to watch that disturbance. If it stays anywhere close to that track, that I just showed you of the GFS model, we probably will not see much rain, maybe a couple of isolated showers or storms, but if it does also intensify, it may actually pull in enough dry air to really uh, keep it hot and dry here. So weekend rain chances are questionable, uh, but temperatures still should still stay fairly hot all the way through the weekend. We'll keep tracking it and have an update for you on the tropics and your first one five forecast here coming up.